Now, this is the place where a lot of people tend to get stuck. They're leaving us to define ourselves. So, we can already say, leave this code as it is. And they're giving us a hint. They've added the new button, the function button. So, in the past, they either defined our function or had most of it written and we added to it. Now we're going to start from scratch. So when you're unsure, when you experience these in your coding, a really good strategy is if you are like, well, I don't know what to do. Go back to a previous um, activity and now we can see go to written here, but if they had you write it, you could just click go solu show solution too. So we know if all of a sudden you're concerned that you don't know what a go to function is, go look at it on the activity before when you saw it or used it last. And then you can go back and you're ready to fill it in. But going back to review code will always be helpful. So we're going to call this go to and we can define the parameter. Sometimes they tell us what the parameter is, but we can pick. So I'm just going to say T and then my code, which our functions like loops need to be indented. That's what tells the computer or the device that that is part of the function. So go to we know is turn to and our parameter and then step distance to. There we go. And that should work.